The nation's top leaders will join mourners in Charleston, South Carolina today at the funeral for State Senator Clemente Pinckney. The pastor of Emmanuel AME Church was killed in last week's massacre. Hundreds of people waited for hours last night to view his body and pay their respects. Michelle Miller is outside the TD Arena at the College of Charleston, where President Obama will give a eulogy in just a few hours. Michelle, good morning. Good morning. The service for Reverend Pinckney begins here at 11 o'clock this morning. On Thursday, the first two funerals were held for the nine people gunned down at Emmanuel, and there was an outpouring of emotion. Hundreds gathered to say their goodbyes Thursday to Ethel Lance. The 70-year-old mother of five died in the church she served nearly all her life. Her seven grandchildren now call Granny their guardian angel. I want my grandmother's legacy to be what she stood for, and that's love. I want my grandmother's legacy to know that she is going to be a catalyst for this country to change. South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley and the Reverends Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson were among those in attendance. Hallelujah. Hours later, they joined hundreds more to remember Sharonda Coleman Singleton. The 45-year-old was a mother of three, a speech therapist, and girls track coach at Goose Creek High. Members of the track team who attended her funeral say they forgive the shooter. If we live hating and not forgiving, she won't be able to rest in peace. Yeah. In order for us to let her rest in peace, we have to forgive because Cosine Tibble want us to forgive him for the things that he has done. Kalia Gadsden says the team affectionately called Singleton Coach Sugarlove because Sugarlove is what she so often called them. And she told me to go out and give him my all in. She was at the running around the track with me. She had a bad knee and she still was there telling me to make your targets and don't give up. Keep pushing and I pushed. And to know that she's gone hurts. And President Barack Obama will deliver the eulogy at 2 o'clock this afternoon for the Reverend Pinckney. Uh, both uh, Vice President Joe Biden and Speaker John Boehner will be in attendance. The remaining six funerals will be held through next week. Charlie. Thank you, Michelle.